Hello guys and welcome back to another PTFS video. Now I'm not looking at my second display here, so uh, yeah. Um, this is really good to be back. Um, I've just came back from holiday, um, so yeah. I've just closed my blinds here so that I can make my light a little bit blue, so that's um, really nice for the uh, background. But um, I'm happy to be back. Um, out of holiday and um <clears throat> see you guys um again so yeah and we're gonna do a review on the e190 embraer 190 i actually did test it out with my friend um yesterday but i just missed the development thing because they're putting in the new thing on the development page so i just missed it uh, by a day but apparently it's a Cessna, so i might review that in the next video but um Let's spawn in the E175. So right on, there is a Game Pass logistic. So it's basically part of the Private Jets Game Pass, which is it's good because you can still have Game Passes for some aircraft, and that is nice. One second. Let me just um, do something. Oh no. Okay. Yep, alright, that is way better for my camera. Um so yeah, they do have a little bit of thing. I don't have that game pass because it's actually quite useless to be honest. Um, and sorry about my camera basically blocking like four of the jet options. It's pretty um, big, but uh, uh, it is what it is because I want you guys to also see me. So let's go with Air Canadian. It's in the top corner. Um, and look at this thing. It's very nicely modelled here. Um, front like, oh, front landing gear. Stuff. You know what? The front landing gear always looks a lot better than the rear. But they did a really good job on the rears and everything with the 737. But look at this, the tail section. They need to like revamp the 787 too. They should put this on the 787 as well. I know like in real life the Ember has that and all that, so yeah. Alright, cockpit reveal. I've already saw this and wowie. I've I'm gonna get this plane in MSFS, Mike Scott Flight Sim. Um So yeah, and uh, look at this thing, dude. Look at this beautiful cockpit. Like, the yokes move on a thing, so it's not really like that. It's kind of like the entire column spins. It, like, actually moves. So, at some point, if you, sh if you like, do it hard enough, it might actually touch the desk, you know, where the, uh, where that, the data printer is. Which is a bit weird, um, with the Embraer. But it is still a really good aircraft, and a very like a good passenger aircraft so let's get this thing started up flaps to one um a bit and put my volume up so i can at least like here you know what i might there you go put the volume up for you guys Shit. Okay. So we're gonna be taxiing um I think maybe runway zero seven and I have already also seen how this plane performs. The physics are nice and well done to be honest and that's what I'm happy about. And uh yeah. I do wanna say, um we have opened up an airline, um, Cretin Air. I haven't got the Discord server ready yet, so I'm going to try and do that. I'm also going to try and make a Roblox game about it. If I can't, um, PTFS will be based on it. I, uh, you know what, I might use PTFS as the most, but Roblox game is like for training and hiring. Um, 
So yeah. I've also got another server, it's a real life thing, so you guys can't sadly participate. It's for a committed motorsport thing. Um there are still some things that you can watch, so um I will also put a link down below to the committed motorsport server. But you can't be allowed in any of the training things or else, you know. On a training day they would be like unprivated. But that's like tomorrow near quite a bit of a time so yeah um and if you join i do have the power to just flock you out of there so yeah um it's like a moto gp star thing so yeah anyways let's just uh, try and speed up the taxi to this video um, my plane is shaking great um Oh god, we're going 40 knots on the taxiway. That's like Southwest Airline type shit. Um, I mean type things. Um, yeah. Um, just coming up to the runway here. So, um, I'm going to be um, testing out the physics of this. But so far, I could say that it's going really good, this plane. And would definitely be a good thing that we could do a flight on. Maybe, like, a full flight. Maybe, maybe even... What I could do is I could base this on the um, electronic flight plan vids. Because um, we haven't um, done that in ages. So I want to do um, part uh, part four. Okay? Let's just follow up. Flaps two. So now already I have already seen that PTFS has updated all the physics and all that. So you see how it's barely climbing there. Just barely climbing. That's the beautiful physics of PTFS now. Um, oh shoot, we're quite steep. Alright, let's just hold here. Now look at this plane, alright? Let me just start cruise real quick. You cannot tell me, look at that cabin, bro. Like, you cannot tell me that is not realistic enough. That is, like, the most realistic you can get with this type of stuff. And it's really thin. Like it should be. Yeah, and you can see, oh, God, the hitbox goes up. You can see the uh, wingtip there. Really nice. Let's go back into the cabin. Um, but, um, it's, it's a very good plane, um, I will say so myself, and it's very good for avionics and instruments, because look at how many nice, but, you know, I wish PTF has added overheads, though, like, I don't even care if there's a little gap, like, just don't make it go through the roof, just, please, PTFS, add overhead panels, I want to go, like, ching, 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 and actually be something there. Like, ugh, it's just white. Um, Alright then, guys. Maybe um, that is it for today's video. Because look at this thing. It's it's not too crazy. It's not too shabby. But it's a nice uh, plane um, to, like, be looked, uh, looked into. So, yeah. And I'm also going to be doing another video maybe about Cessna or a flight with this plane. And then, um, yeah. So, um, alright then guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! -bye.